The sixth Democratic presidential debate on tap for later this week in Los Angeles is in jeopardy tonight. All seven candidates scheduled to appear have pledged to boycott the debate in support of striking workers at the site. Farah Fazal has the details. Contract. When do we want it? Now. Food service workers are promising to picket outside the last Democratic debate of the year. I'm not going to cross the picket line. I never have, and I'm not going to start now. No. Senator Elizabeth Warren was the first presidential candidate to tweet her support for workers of Unite Here Local 11. The rest of the candidates said they would not cross the picket line outside Loyola Marymount University, the site of the debate on Thursday. I think it's a terrible look for the Democratic Party to, to have a debate um, and that runs afoul of union work rules. What do we want? The workers began picketing on campus last month where they serve and prepare the meals. The union says the company that contracts them, Sodexo, canceled their negotiations. We got to resolve these issues, get the wages and health care that the workers there deserve. The union boycott isn't the only dilemma for the Democratic National Committee. Nine candidates are demanding the DNC change the polling and fundraising rules used to dictate debate participation. They say the current rules have cut down the diversity of the field. DNC officials signaled they're unlikely to change the rules for January. DNC Chairman Tom Perez has not yet decided whether he'll change the rules for the February and the March debates. Meanwhile, the Union for the Food Workers is about to meet with Sodexo, the company, on Tuesday. It's quite possible they may meet a little sooner, Elaine. Farah, thank you.